To investigate the potential financial impact of a global pandemic, AIR leveraged its global pandemic model to simulate a hypothetical pandemic scenario. The one we chose has a similar virulence to the devastating pandemic of 1918, with a return period between 100 and 200 years. The map you'll see shows the progression of the event, including the number of mortalities in each country. The pandemic begins in Mongolia and spreads rapidly to other countries, including Russia, China, Korea, Armenia, Germany, Japan, Hong Kong, Tajikistan, and the Ukraine. Travel restrictions and quarantine measures take effect in the originating country by the end of the second month. However, these actions are not effective in preventing the rapid spread of the pandemic. The World Health Organization declares a pandemic phase six in the fourth month, indicating a global pandemic. Vaccines begin to come online only in the sixth month. The first batches are reserved for high-risk individuals, such as those with underlying medical conditions, children, and healthcare workers who are generally considered to play a crucial role in the spreading of influenza. The efficacy of the vaccine, which varies by patient age, ranges between 40 and 60 percent, which means that the vaccine works for only about half of those people who receive it. The pandemic continues to sweep across the world. Although cases are reported in all age groups, the very young and very old experience the most severe infections. As is common with pandemic mortality, the virus impacts a disproportionate number of people under age 65. The r naught value for this pandemic, a measure of how many new victims a disease carrier is likely to infect, is about 1.5, only slightly higher than a typical seasonal flu. The virulence of the virus, as measured by the case fatality ratio, is comparable to that of the Asian flu and Hong Kong flu pandemics, or a Category 2 pandemic on the CDC's Pandemic Severity Index Scale of 1 to 5. At this level, workplaces are advised to consider modifying schedules and rely more heavily on telework and staggered shifts. At the end of 22 months, the World Health Organization declares the end of the pandemic. It has killed more than 21 million people and infected more than 1.6 billion people worldwide, or nearly 23% of the world's population. Life insurance losses exceed $45 billion. As severe as it sounds, this pandemic does not represent a worst case scenario in terms of pandemic risk. To help companies prepare for the full range of possible outcomes, the AIR model offers a 500,000 year catalog of simulated events.